Uh, hi everybody on Facebook. Uh, we're here now at the our first uh, endurance workshop. Uh, this is a, a day workshop that we'll be doing. Um, this is our first uh, run with it. We've got a lot of local riders here today. Um, we're about to go out for our first run. Uh, there's Joe. I'd be nervous enough on descending in the west. It doesn't matter. So, you know, it's confidence. So, well, what's going to happen today is Joe's going to go over with riders about uh, the finer details of their bike setup or their riding setup as well. So, uh, every rider today is going to take something back. Uh, and then in the afternoon, uh, we'll have uh, the. Uh, the presentations, uh, lots of valuable, valuable detail uh, that we'll have. Uh, let's chat to some other writers real quick. Hi guys, how, you how are we doing? We're live on Facebook. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> uh, firstly, who are we and where do we come from? Uh, my name is Andrew Agnew from Calvin from DB Cycling Club. Okay, and yourself? Uh, Peter Bichel from White River Wheelish, Dunleo. Okay, start with you then. What are you looking forward to today? What are you looking to learn? I uh, get more for the endurance side of it, working out the food, how to keep coming with that and to get it right for when you're out. And yourself? How are you feeling? So, uh, you cheshire dead the things. Yeah. Sure so that will come in the afternoon, that will be a presentation yeah. in the afternoon. What are you struggling with at the minute with your nutrition, do you think? No, really, no. I just like to get it, get it right as possible. Yeah. Okay. That's good. What are you looking forward to getting out riding as well today? The weather's quite good. It's quite. Oh, the weather's good. Couldn't yeah. get better this morning. Nice to go for a spin before. Yeah. And first. I can try and learn to try and get a wee bit more of the scientific fact of the yeah. nutrition's always sort of been haphazard. Yeah. And you know what works, but I want to know why it works. Yeah. And when it doesn't work, how do you get around it? For sure. Okay. Well, we'll catch up with you guys at the end of the day, and we'll see what's worry. going. Okay. okay. The whole way from England, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Uh, how are you getting on? Not too bad. I'm uh, Paul Golding I'm from Brighton in Sussex in the UK. Uh, I don't know if I'm the only Englishman here. But don't worry, we won't I'm take a look. My translation dictionary. So <laughs> going on. Sure. What, are you look, what, what, what is your standard that you're at at the minute and what are you looking to achieve? Well, I've just done three months out of training due to surgery on my shoulder. So you back. had a bad crash? Yeah. Um, pedestrian on a bike lane took me out. Typical. <laughs> so I've been back on the bike for two weeks, so I've managed a couple of hour rides, so not very fit at the moment. But when I was fit, I was building up. I was hoping to do a 24 hour. Okay. Yeah, hopefully I'll get back to that. And I want to do longer at some point. What's your ultimate goal? What what type of length are we talking about longer? Oh, I, I don't know. That's the thing. Is it's all a learning curve. I was a triathlete first, so I've done Ironman, but that was a long time ago, 2006. Yeah. Um, but the goal is to do some long and something extreme. I don't like just doing ordinary things that everyone's doing. Yeah. The problem is with things like sport, it's everyone's doing 100 miles these days. So yeah. To me, it's like too ordinary. Same yeah. with triathlons. We did triathlons. Everyone's yeah. doing Olympic distance, and it was great. But yeah. now everyone's doing it. Yeah. So for me, it's doing something that no one else does that often. What what elements of being a triathlete do you think you'll take into cycling or what you know the mental aspect or physical aspect or? I don't know if it's elements from triathlon I think it's elements from my own attitude because before I was a triathlete I was a boxer so I, I, okay. I, I had seven boxing matches lost my first two won the next five so I, I went from a losing period to suddenly coming back and trying to be stronger so what I've learned over the years is that your mind is stronger than you believe yeah. to me but that's said, something that takes us a long long time to learn as well yeah, so you, but having said that I'm, I'm still learning because now going beyond 100 miles and doing longer bike rides that fatigue you get not just the fatigue from in your legs but the fatigue in your shoulders your neck that pain you're trying to turn your head all those little yeah. nuances that people don't think about yeah it's getting my head around handling that and becoming stronger mentally to be able to handle that sort of fatigue and tiredness yeah for sure and, just, and also lack of sleep seeing what i can do without sleep. yeah yeah well that's uh it's nothing something you can really train for is a lack of sleep it's just something that you have to just see what happens and just keep going as we always say absolutely well, i've achieved one of my goals that's meeting joe yeah he's become a little bit hero of mine over the last couple of years oh uh, good yeah so, it's, it is uh yeah okay okay we are going to start guys we'll catch up with you at the end of uh the route uh joe very quickly we're about to set off what are we going to what, trying to do today oh well we're we're obviously on the endurance workshop and we're just about to set off on the bike ride here now luckily the weather has held it's not raining and there's no great wind so it's looking good and all the guys are in good form and I, we get back and hopefully everything will be good and we'll we're, get on with our day we're looking forward to a good ride okay guys we're going to set off then uh just want to all get together. What? Okay, so just let just let us know how the knee is. Okay. Okay. So here we go, folks. There we go. Joe's away. 
Yeah, so we're going out now for about three hours and Joe's going to do individuals with each rider uh, to check about their stance, their setup, uh, nutrition, how they're getting on and any problems that they have. Guys, okay, so we'll try and catch up with you out in the race and we'll see you soon. Ciao!